Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you for being here, as always. Do you remember when we had the last live event and we had a epic dice rolling elimination DVD extravaganza? It was super fun actually. I had piles of DVDs, they were numbered, rolled the dice, whatever that pile was got eliminated. We did a couple rounds and it came down to two and the winning one, which I'm not mad about, is the bodyguard. This has been, you know, I've, I've heard the name once everyone knew I fell in love with Kevin Costner, they're like, you should watch The Bodyguard, among other things. There's still a lot of Kevin Costner movies I need to get to, but I did just see him in Prince of Thieves, which I loved so much, and I loved him so much. And so that made me even more excited to watch The Bodyguard. I think Whitney Houston's in it, but I don't know if it's the real Whitney Houston or someone acting like Whitney Houston. I know her one famous song, I Will Always Love You. Fail by me, I know. So hopefully this will have lots of her music in it that I'll get to hear. I think this is gonna be chick flick a little bit. So I'm obviously excited for that. Just what I need tonight is to watch a chick flick with you guys. Remember, if you are not subscribed yet, you should do it. Click that little button. It doesn't spam your inbox. It doesn't even do really anything. I might just pop up every once in a while, a little easier access. And then here is my link to my Patreon where you can vote on polls, early access, and full length reactions. And those are always really fun. Okay, let's get started with The Bodyguard. Start it off with a bang. Okay, this is gonna be one of those two weeks earlier. Oh, of course. How did you know? I saw him washing the car. So did I. They don't wash cars on the parking levels. I'd like you to stay on. I'm no good in a permanent position. My, my feet go to sleep. I don't think I like this music right now. Turning down two thousand bucks a week, so you're saying you won't protect Rachel Marin just because she's in show business. But we heard that you were the best. Farmer, I mean, we're talking about a very frightened little lady with an eight-year-old son. Please, farmer. Please, farmer. All just right, give me a take it. It's three thousand a week. It must be very deadly for three grand a week. Watch and see. <laughs> hey. Frank Farmer to see Miss Marin. The atomic number of zinc is 30. That was too easy. Dang. Can I help you? My name's Edison. I have an appointment with Miss Marin. And that was arranged by, uh... Mr. Devaney. Well, go right ahead, Mr. Edison. What happened to your arm? A doll. Henry Ford to see Mr. Devaney. Who? Henry Ford. Come in, please. Whoa. Okay, so I thought it was like gonna be like Whitney Houston. Like the singer's name was going to be Whitney Houston. I think it must be Whitney Houston playing her then, right? This is not his world. This just feels so 90s right now. I'm glad you came. Rachel, Frank Farmer's here. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Bodyguard. All right, I'm up. Rachel Merrin. Well, you don't look like a bodyguard. What'd you expect? Well, I don't know. Maybe a tough guy? This is my disguise. You drink? Yeah, orange juice. Sudden obsession with protecting me. Not like this. I could never drink orange juice in the middle of the day. It has to be like 7 in the morning after 9. It's disgusting beverage. The main thing will be is when I go out. I don't want you to fall all over me everywhere I go. The most important thing is this, though. I will not allow Fletcher to be affected by this. We'll have to tell the boy you've got some other function, okay? He shouldn't even be aware that you're here. Miss Marin. He's about to lecture her. You'll show me the quickest way out. I'll save us each a lot of trouble. Mama, would you wait a minute? I should have told you more. I'm sorry, but I was afraid she wouldn't go through with it. She's not a bad person. And whether she knows it or not, she needs you. Just wait here for one minute. I want to show you something. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Aw. 
Do you like boats? No, I don't like boats. I'll tell you, one time I was, uh, I was stuck on a boat with some people for four months. You're the bodyguard, aren't you? I've got ears. This is just in the last six months. You ever guard the main man? I was two years with Carter, four with Reagan. Reagan got shot. Not on my ship. You think it could be the same guy, the one who rigged the doll? Does she know about the doll? We said there'd been some electrical problem while she was on stage. So I had this done for a magazine layout. Someone was in here? Somebody broke in and masturbated on the bed. <gasps> and she doesn't know about this either. Are you kidding? I mean, this would really freak her out, wouldn't it? I'd say that qualifies as a problem. We don't need this bill. Excuse me? The house hey, is wide open. You can leave, Sai. We'll have no clue of what security is or what it takes to achieve it. Well, I can't protect her like this. Like what? I won't be Look responsible you up for in her safety my if she doesn't face. understand what's going on. I have nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I know this song too. Whoa. And, and this year, the smart money's on Rachel Marin, big on the charts. It looks like is this a woman? Oh, that's so freaky. Why'd you say your name was Edison? I wanted to see how difficult it was to get in. And it wasn't, was it? No. Ooh, don't touch. You know, I'll bet you can fill up a whole day just washing the cars and driving this man around town, can't you? We're adding to your duties. My new assistant. <laughs> now I'm gonna have two cameras here. One face camera by the call box. Scene camera on top of this pillar looking down. Cut the property. Uh -huh. I wanna make sure that we don't... Mm-hmm. He's thinking of everything. Not yet. No break. We're practicing getaway car in a limo? You can take a look at that if you want. This is the sister? When I was a kid, I put together this little band and we used to play high school dance. Then Rachel joined the act. And as you can imagine, she was quite a little entertainer. It was pretty obvious who the star in our family was. Oh. This is the one you think is tied to the doll. I have nothing to think is a natural considering the record and the movie and all that. A lot of work. Can I have your autograph? No, honey. Sure you can. She's our favorite actress. I feel like Rachel's definitely living in, in a shadow. I feel like she's sad, maybe resentful of it. Let me set you straight about a few things, Frank. What I do for her, I do out of love. I'm not some hired f***ing gun who's here to make her life miserable. You watch me and you'll learn something. Mm. Right here. What's going on? Shortcut. <laughs> I saw the hair. It's like blonde, longer. <laughs> He's an Avenger. License plate? Ch -ch camera phone? Doesn't exist yet. I know I don't want her doing anything she's always done. Oh, I don't want her doing anything she's always done. Think about your son. What about Flip? <laughs> I want She's some peace around here. That's coming right. off very nice. You probably won't believe this, but I have a reputation for being a. Mm. Oh, you're such an expert on famous people, huh? I've seen a few. Be as you choose to be. It's an act of discipline sometimes, mm -hmm. but it can be done. You don't approve of me, do you? Is this gonna go the a haters to lovers trope? I like that trope. Don't like your emotions getting to you. Never mix business with pleasure. I feel like Bill hasn't told her about the letters and the doll and the bed, or she would be way more freaked out, I feel like. She is drop dead gorgeous. I don't want her to get too much pleasure out of watching this. Hold a little still. Well, what exactly am I looking for? Bomb. <laughs> I already checked. <laughs> Are we going somewhere else? Come on. It's a club, Frank. Inspector, you have to tell me about these things. Oh, I just did. Oh. Rachel, I want you to keep this. It's beautiful. It's fitted with a radio transmitter. We close the class, but sends a signal. Press it, and I'll know you need me. Okay, she knows how it works. Oh! Look at this! Look at this, Rachel! I feel like the publicist thinks he's famous, because she is. 
We didn't scope this place out before. I don't feel good about it. This is a idea. He thinks it'll be good for the video. You sent another one. What do you mean another one? You said you were gonna talk to her, Bill. You didn't tell me what. Threats on ball stuff. Someone was in my house. We should get her out of here right I mean, now. There's no way anyone could just just wait. No Rachel, way Rachel, anyone Rachel, could. Calm down. Everybody, calm down. Sigh. How do you feel, honey? I want to punch him. He's here, isn't he? He might be. We don't know that. Frank. How to get the letter in there? How, Sigh. Let's go home, Sigh. Do the circumstances beyond our control. Wait, wait. Rachel, don't do it. My no freak is gonna run me off stage. I'm afraid Rachel will not be able. Don't do it, Rachel. This reminds me of In the Line of Fire, which I also loved. I can't wait for the cape unveiling moment. Okay, we... We have any communication problem here. Yeah, you think? You got a job to do here. Rachel has a job to do too. And that's what she's doing, Frank. Handle properly. This whole thing could be good for a million dollars worth of free public. One word. Yeah, well, it could put you in the nomination. Hey, hey, hey. What a slime ball. I just wanna get loose. I just he literally left the letter in her dressing room. Here. not even gonna say I told you so, is he? He's gonna be a gentleman. <gasps> Ew. Don't you wanna know why I behave that way? I know why. He dumped her in. Does he live here now? <gasps> Okay, was this all because you didn't give him a ride home? I'm confused. Um, let's not do murder. I don't want to talk about this again. Oh, didn't know I jogged, did you? You afraid I might get picked off in my snazzy running suit? No, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to jog with you. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. Better late than never. I like to go out for an evening, you know, like a date. I can't go out on a date because you have to be with me every minute. The only thing I can figure is for you to take me out. Oh. There's not a specific guy already. Only if you want to. You, you decide, okay? I feel bad for her sister. What's happening right now? Is this guy in her car while it's in the car wash? Oh, I'm confused. He loves her, but also wants to kill her. We saw that guy at the club last night. Big difference between wanting to die and having no fear of death. Yeah, and he so looks nice. He had no fear of death. I just wanted to push his hair back a little. How many times have you seen that movie? They're on a date. They're on a date. You figure no one can get by you here, huh? Someone's willing to swap his life for a kill, and nothing can stop them, Rachel. Great. What do I need you for? You might get me instead. And you're ready to die for me? Die for you. So have you ever liked anybody? Did Whitney Houston act in other movies? Me. <laughs> have you ever liked Girl. anybody? She didn't die, did she? <laughs> While you were protecting her, she got killed, right? <laughs> God, that's not it, is it? Nobody's perfect. Oh my gosh! Nice try, though. <laughs> she didn't love me. He got her. Can you imagine that? No, not really. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Sorry, getting out of myself. I'm just asking you to dance. <laughs> Come on. 
90s style is so back in. I love it. High waisted jeans, the bodysuit. Maybe not his, <laughs> but hers. This is her song. But is it her song in this movie? I mean, it's so depressing. Have you listened to the words? Somebody's always leaving somebody's songs. I'll protect you. Oh, she loves him. It's gotta be like bodyguard rule number one to not fall in love with your subject, right? Oh no. Then he's gonna be like, I can't do this anymore. I've developed feelings for you. I'm too close to the situation. Then he's gonna try and leave and then something's gonna happen and he's not gonna be there and then he is gonna come to a rescue, right? Would you play? Mm. Orange juice. Thing is, she's so hot and she knows it. I wanna see her just a tiny bit vulnerable for a second. Bodyguard must know very little peace. O. M. Watch. I've never felt this safe before. Have I done something wrong? Do you want me to beg? No. Oh, I knew it. I want to keep it straight in my head what job I'm doing. I've been involved with my client. So you're not attracted to your client anymore? Oh, Christ, I told you why. I, I can't protect you like this. So that's it for me? That's it? Well, I don't believe it. Well, you can live with it or you can fire me. But Ooh. I can't. Ooh. I did not like how that ended. That was a little insensitive, Frank. Everyone said she was a sure thing. Did she win or just a nominee? It's off to Miami today for Best Actress nominee Rachel Marin. Two AIDS charity concerts at the glamorous Fontainebleau Hilton. Have them do a 14 reference to presidential suite balcony right away. Okay, we got a team. It's really necessary. Yes, it is. Let's go. Quit bitching, Pharma. This is the part you do get paid for. Rachel. Again, this passion inside. He must have a lot of mixed emotions right now. Wow. Whoa. I feel like this guy could never afford this bougie concert, so we shouldn't worry about this, right? <gasps> Unless he sneaks in as like a waiter or something. Hello, Frank. Portman. It's been a long time. Portman. Well, I'd call that a step up from the president. Probably sings better, too. I lost track of you after the Reagan thing. Wasn't your fault, Frank. I need a drink. So who are you? Greg Portman. We used to work together. I'm a little uncomfortable. Are you working now? Because I'm the only person in this room that needs protection. Well, let's go get a drink. Rachel, 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 Rachel. Mm-mm. Orange juice, sir? I've been watching you all night from across the room. Mm-mm. Why don't you go back there and keep watching? <laughs> mean don't you dare rachel oh no 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 i'm not doing this oh ew no please go now tony she's looking for him i feel like he's got a lot of inner stuff that he needs to talk out but he wants to be a tough guy, but really he just needs to be more in tune with his feelings, work some stuff out. He sure loves his OJ. What are you looking at? You probably never had a heavy night in your whole damn disciplined life. You know, Farmer, you're a self-righteous son of a bitch. What we're doing this this morning. And don't laugh at me. Don't you dare judge me. Oh, that. give me a break, will you? I, mean, I didn't tell you to f everybody in the hotel. Where is she? I don't know. I thought you were with her. Get somebody up here now. Hi, <laughs> Bill. Rachel, where in the hell have you been? I'll do what I want, when I want. Oh, she's being a brat again. One more time and I'm gone. You remember something, Farmer. You work for me. Rachel. <sighs> Mommy. 
Not your baby, is that you? No. No. You got a call while you were downstairs. Okay. Frank, you <gasps> really shook her up. The people who hire me, they don't have to be convinced to save their own lives. Call me when she's ready to go down. Frank? Oh. Uh, go talk to her, Frank. Farmer, nothing that's happened between us matters. I understand now. Do you? And you're gonna have to believe me because I'm not going to beg. Frank, I need you. I'm afraid. I can't protect you like this. It's, uh, it's impossible. The odds are all on his side. What? Don't tell her that right now. I'd want to take you away from here for a while. It'd mean canceling the rest of your concert dates. All right. No more sigh. You give Devaney and Tony a vacation. You cross me up this time, Rachel. I swear I'll kill you myself. They're going on a getaway? There's no way they're going to be able to resist yeah. each other when it's just them in a deserted cabin in the woods. Oh, Fletcher's here too. Where are we? Montana? Canada? And who's this? Catherine had this place organized just the way she wanted it. That's Frank's mama. <gasps> this is his dad! Frank tells me you're a singer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you must be very successful if you need someone like Frank. Frank spent six months up here after that Reagan thing. Frank wasn't there the day Reagan was shot. He's never gotten over it. That's the day we buried Catherine. His mom's funeral was the day that Reagan got shot. Couldn't stand being afraid. If something scared him, he'd just keep doing it until the fear went away. Oh, that's the opposite of me. Come on, Frank. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, they're so tender. The last move I took your rook with my bishop right there. They've been playing the same game. Oh, well, that's it for me, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Gosh. It's good to hear you laugh. It is. You're very thorough. What's happening with you and Rachel? Uh, this is weird. You must think my life's pretty sickly, don't you? Why don't you change it, Nikki? Well, he's, he's not the most sensitive soul. Is it that easy? Mm. You don't want me. Why well, stop at one sister when you could have them both? Make my mistakes. But you didn't say no to the boss. And now we're all in a tiny cabin together. Fletcher! Fletcher! He's going out on his own? Oh. Oh. He can't stop! Oh. Okay, but the guy's not here, right? You could have drowned him, Frank! You could have drowned him! How are we gonna get the boat back? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have known you're here. Oh no, this place has nothing to do with her. Maybe it's got something to do with you. I was an idiot last night. So, what'd you think about today? I think this is no mania. He knows what he's doing. Who is it, Nikki? <laughs> How do we stop him? I don't know. You can call it off. He doesn't even know who hired him. I don't know who he is. He doesn't know who I am. I went to How? A, I went to a bar in East LA. <gasps> Armando. She has set this up? Is it all paid for? And then some. How about the letters? <laughs> I don't know who's writing the letters. Those are my thoughts. I hate her. I would never oh. hurt Fletcher. This is insane. Don't you even want to know why? told me she has everything so what if we can't find this guy uh. it's me god So, because he can hear? Doesn't make any sense, Frank. We already got him. Where? Here, last night in LA. He's obsessed with her. 
We know you did it. No, we know it. No. We know it. Well, whoever you got down there wasn't here last night. So this guy's the letter writer, and then... Stringent security surrounded the funeral. And she did die. My question is, Frank going to tell her about Nikki? You okay, Frank? Yeah, Fletcher, I'm okay. It was so scary just thinking about it. Everybody's afraid of something. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm afraid of not being there. She must be in a terrible place right now. Frank needs to give her a hug. It isn't over yet, is it? So he'll come again at the Oscars. I think it's still dangerous. I didn't get to this place in my life by doing the smart thing every time. Haven't you done something in your life that just didn't make much sense? Except somewhere inside you, in your stomach somewhere. I know you have. I don't know why this is happening to me. But I know it's not your fault. This is the way I say I'm sorry. I'm going to the Oscars and see if I win. And I'm not going to worry about it at all because I have you to protect me, right? Of course. That's right. I wish you guys would relax a little bit. Nothing bad's going to happen out there. I'm tired of worrying about it. Yes! Yes, Rachel! Rachel Merritt! Did the shooter want to shoot? Nikki, or do you think he was trying to shoot her and got confused? Okay, so getting this straight again. The guy that killed Nikki was the guy that she actually hired, right? These are your lines. The teleprompter is straight ahead and we pray working perfectly. Who's listening? 30 seconds to lighting change. <laughs> My palms are sweaty. Portman, what are you doing here? On the job. Who? Him? Short term gig. Listen, Frank, I'm Five. sorry about Miami. Four. Back to work. Probably see you at the governor's ball. A professional. Tony, I've got a feeling this is the night. I need hey, you hey, to help me, me tonight. Me. The breakthrough is killing our radio mics, and I have to disconnect you. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Frank. Rachel, sure we go. Must we have everyone? We have our own man at the door. No. I want him. Let's brighten this firmament. Frank's coming, right? Frank's coming with her? Left and through, and you will meet on the landing. Shall we? He's got you. Best song. Ten seconds. Oh my gosh. Rachel Marin. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. No, Clive. I'm very interested in one of the awards that's coming up tonight. The best song nominees are Clock on the Wall, Give Me Your Trust from Out of the Beagle and Barbara G. Gordon, I Have Nothing from Queen of the Night, and Reflections of My Heart. Go, 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 go get her. All right, Clive, let's find out who the winner is. Music and lyrics by Farmer. Farmer, you made me into a raving lunatic. Where's Portman? Who? Five. Portman, Four. never heard of her. I knew it. Shut up, you're a maniac. You've embarrassed me in front of billions of people and you won't quit. I know who it is. Who? It's Portman. Who? The guy, the guy in Miami. After tonight, you're back in charge. What? This guy knows nothing about me. You're an asshole. It's freaking Portman. Ew, and she kissed that slime ball. Oh! Rachel Marin. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Run! 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 He's gonna be okay? He's gonna be okay? Oh. He's okay. It won't be the same without you. Hi, Frank! What's happening? Come on! They're still in love, right? So you're quitting show business, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's get this over with, okay? Give me a kiss. 
goodbye, Rachel. No! No goodbye! Say something. Say something. Oh my gosh. Please don't end like this. Please don't end like this. Oh. You dummy, Wait. get her back! Ooh. And I will always love you. <laughs> will always, my darling, you. <sighs> that is all I'm taking with me. We both know I'm not what you Oh my gosh, this is making me so sad because in real life when she was And I will always love you. She was gone too soon and she is incredible. Please bless us today as we meet in friendship and duty. Let them never be without your sanctuary. You are with us, guiding and protecting us. And I that was a weird ending. Wait a second, but they're together. He's going home to her right now and they'll eat Chinese takeout on, from the fridge and watch a movie. But he still wants to work, even though he wouldn't have to with her wealth, but that's why he's still doing this, because he's amazing at it and he wants to protect people, but they're still together. Oh, it's just... Okay, firstly, I am going to go read a Whitney Houston biography, Stat. She was stunning. Like I said at the beginning, I know very little about her in her life. Obviously she wasn't playing herself, but her voice and beauty and charisma and chemistry, she was stunning. Especially that end scene, it's like she was looking into your soul and singing into it. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously I loved it. It was exactly what I wanted it to be, even though the ending was ambiguous, but I told you the ending, it's fine. Back to, back to their house. He will eventually adopt Fletcher in writing and everyone will cry and it'll be beautiful. It was suspenseful, a slow burn love story, which I always like. I feel like they had real chemistry. I mean, she was bratty sometimes and there were like certain cheesy things, but I love cheese in a movie like this, so I'm okay with it. It was maybe a little bit too long, like they could have shortened up a few parts, but I get it. I, they built the suspense and it had some shocking moments for sure. Like. Wow, I need to know more about Whitney Houston. I feel like this is one of those like almost like cult classic, under the radar, guilty pleasure chick flicks. And there's something about the 90s chick flicks. Oh man, like they've, they've got something. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you again soon.